morning lovely people welcome back for another day of the vlog um so as you already know today's saturday um i've just been up hanging up some laundry because you know i'm trying to be a housewife and whatever <laughs> so yeah laundry is hanging up i'm gonna go i've just washed my face as well so it's super dry i'm gonna go put a face mask on because i've just been breaking out a little bit here I've got some cream left, but yeah, I've just been breaking it a little bit, so I want to at least start the day right. Put a face mask on, then come back and tidy my room, and then I'm going to finally film the River Island haul today, so that video will be out very, very soon. So yeah, let's get right to it. So I'm just going to quickly tie up my few strands of hair, just to keep them out of the way. And then for my face mask today, I think I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris Pure Clay Detox Mask because I used, whoa, rude, <laughs> I used the Nip and Fab one the other day. So then, yeah, I'm going to use this one. So I usually just like to um, like alternate between purifying and detoxing. So I think I'll go with this one. Guys, my neighbours are getting construction done, so that is the banging in the background. Um, and then I'm just going to use the little sand and sky brush that I got when I did like the haul a few months ago. I'm really trying to get this to focus, but it won't work. There we go. So yeah, I'm going to use that little brush. It's so good, guys. If you don't have a brush to put your face mask on, then you're sleeping on it. Because in the past, I used to use like another brush that was pretty much the same yeah i think it was this one but basically what i'm trying to say is if you don't have a brush to put your face mask on you're missing out because before i got the brush i think i just used my fingers and it's it's not the same <laughs> it's not the same life is easier with a brush so yeah this one smells so so good and it just comes out like that Okay, and now we're gonna leave this on for about 10 and 10 or 15 minutes. Um, so I'm just gonna go make my bed, tidy my room, the usual Saturday morning routine. Then we'll come back and wash it off. The face mask is drying, so I cannot move my face very much. But anyway, am I the only one who does this? Like, <laughs> uses old paper bag, plastic bags for bins? Because, I don't know, I just feel like I'm saving the planet by reusing an old bag instead of buying bin liners. Guys, I don't know. Or I could just buy a regular, regular nice bin. But I just, I just feel like I'm saving the planet and reusing. So tell me I'm not the only one. Please tell me other people do it. Right, now my face is squeaky clean. I'm gonna get ready for the day and I can film something and enjoy the sun. I will also obviously be listening to my latest obsession, The Receipts Podcast. I'm listening to this episode called I'm Just a Child of God and they're talking about all their all their like drunken stories and working in retail and just all that stuff and I just think it's so it's so relatable, so yeah gonna tune in but let's let's get the day going
Someone's so yeah, we did. Like, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, they were like, if you think a guy has got a girlfriend, even if you don't think a guy has got a girlfriend, he has got a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> like, even if you think he's single, even he's if you think he's single, he's got a girlfriend. And I was like, that tweet is tweeting, man. <laughs> you know what? Where was the lie? It's true. Yeah, it is. But do you think it's the same the other way round though? No, because if we're single, we're single. Yeah. doing my face and now I'm gonna do my edges with some the famous Gorilla Snot guys I've not used this in years this is probably all dried out if I'm being honest but um yeah let's hope it works Finally finished getting ready. I'm feeling like an African queen today with my path and the earrings and all that good stuff. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna unbox the River Island package and show you guys what I got. Right, guys, I feel like I've been going on about this River Island package for the longest time ever. It did come like at least a week, a week and a bit ago now, so I have been very impatient. But um, I'm ready to open it. It's so heavy, you guys. So I just wanted to get a few things. I'm sure I'm going to return a lot of it. But um, I just wanted to get a few things to update my wardrobe and see if I can revamp my fashion. By the way, half the package is like open already. Yo, they gonna try and show you guys but anyway they better not have um robbed me of anything or nothing have better have fallen out anyway in the vlog in the vlog um i'm not going to be trying the clothes on because i'm going to film a proper try on haul afterwards so this is just to show you guys what i actually got so first things first is this khaki colored wrap top guys i love this color you guys already know that this is one of my faves and i do like things that like wrap across so it's like a just a cotton material and this would be quite nice with like a pair of jeans or a skirt and um, you could probably even wear this for like an office like after work drinks type thing obviously once we are out of um, the pandemic <laughs> so that's quite cute this was 28 pounds oh yeah i forgot to say that the 
the green top was a size 16. Next up we have these light blue jeans. Um, these were £45 and they are mid-rise skinny. I'll, I normally go for like high-waisted jeans but I just thought I suppose these are mid-rise so it'll be alright. So they are short at the bottom because um, well first of all I got the short ones anyway because I do quite like short shorter jeans plus I'm not the tallest of people like I'm five foot three so I sometimes like even the regular fit is just a bit too long so I got these because they're a wee bit shorter I do like the color I need more light colored jeans because I usually go for like black and dark blue um so yeah these ones were 45 yeah 45 pounds size 16 i feel like they are a bit pricey but i've heard people saying river island jeans are good so i'm looking forward to trying these on and seeing how they fit next up i got another pair of jeans these ones are called molly oh the other ones were called amelia i'm pretty sure amelie a-M-E-L-I-E, Amelie, -E, I think, Amelie, I don't know. Yeah, anyway, so I got these Molly ones. Oh, and they have the little River Island gold accent here. That's quite cute. Oh, but I'm not feeling, I'm not really digging this, but they don't, oh, it's a jegging, mid-rise jegging. Oh, okay. I'm not feeling that. I thought these were proper jeans. I don't really like jeggings. I feel like, I prefer, I just prefer regular jeans, but they do feel like jeans, I suppose. But yeah, I prefer jeans over jeggings. But anyway, these are size 16, um, 16 short again as well. And these are 40 pounds. So slightly cheaper than the regular jeans. But um, yeah, again, I'll try them on and see how they look. And I needed gray jeans because I actually don't have any. So glad I got these, but yeah, I don't know about that jeggings part. <laughs> Next up, I got this sweater and it says Los Angeles, California on the front. Now, I don't really wear stuff like this, so this was a bit different because just getting something like this, because first of all, I'm not someone who normally wears white because I'd be messing it up real quick. So I hope I don't get any makeup on this when I am trying it on. Um, but yeah, I just thought it'd be quite nice to get sort of loungewear or even just something to quickly pull on, you know, when you're just going out to the shops or something and you don't always want a hoodie. Sometimes you just want something a bit different. So I got this. This is size medium, but it looks really, really big. I think it's meant to be a baggy fit, but I'm glad I got the medium because if I'd got a large, I think it would have been very, very big. So yeah, I think medium will be a good one. Um, and yeah, 40, no, 35 pounds for this one. So yeah. I will say one thing I've noticed is the quality of these products does feel really good. Like you are paying more than what you would pay at like Primark, H&M, those kinds of shops. But the quality does feel quite good. So let's hope it does last just as long. Next up, I got this little bralette. I saw this and I just thought this was quite fine. So let me get it. It's like shiny and then it's got the mesh material. So if you've got like a sort of like a shirt or you want to be bold you just want to wear this on its own with some jeans you could definitely do that i probably probably will wear it like with a top or a shirt or something but yeah i just saw that and i thought okay let me let me get that and give it a try and um, this was 20 pounds and it's size 16 i don't think it has matching pants if it did maybe it did. maybe i just didn't see them but yeah this is quite nice and it's got the river island like logo just on the bottom so yeah i'm excited to give that a try right if you're into fashion you'll obviously have been knowing that right now there is this big big trend for shackets i i first heard of this from shirlina shirlina nim and i honestly thought she was making up words i was like a shacket what is a shacket i had never heard of it in my life but little did i know she was onto something so shackets are the new end thing which is basically a shirt jacket so it's called a shacket i don't know why but yeah so i ordered one of these again this looks quite big actually it's quite baggy this is a size large and it was 42 pounds but i'm thinking i can wear it like open maybe even with a little bralette thing and like a pair of jeans or something who am i kidding i'll put a top on <laughs> but like you know in summer you've got your nice outfit or a dress or something a regular t-shirt then have this on top make it like a little like yeah like a short jacket maybe even tie a little belt well it's a bit short i suppose but i'm liking this it does look quite manly but i think once it's open 
that'll be all right. Not only did I get one shacket, but I got two. <laughs> so this one is more, this material is like thicker. It's, um, I don't know what kind of material you call that. Do you know how when you get those big long coats and like the kind of winter ones, it's almost kind of that material, but a tiny, tiny bit thinner. But I'm feeling these buttons, they've got the marble um like effect on them and then this one is quite long it's longer than the first one that whoa i just thought i got makeup <laughs> it's first th blah, blah, blah. it's longer than the first one that i showed you guys and at the bottom this is curved so i am feeling this this one is size large as well and this was 65 pounds so it was way more pricey than the other one but the quality is thick you can actually get away with this as like a jacket like it's very it's quite thick actually so i'm excited to give this a try and see what it looks like now that's it for clothes so moving on to the accessories i had to get myself a river island scarf like guys i always see these and just think they're so nice they do look like they're quite thick good material so yes you're thinking it's spring summer why are you getting a scarf but guys i live in scotland it is very cold it can be cold in the middle of july you still need a jumper or a jacket or even a scarf sometimes so I thought I might as well get one now but just in case it isn't cold in summer I will wear this in winter so yeah this looks pretty good looks like that and this scarf I don't even think it was on sale considering it's spring summer time but anyway this is 22 pounds this scarf right here and it does feel a bit thick it's not as thick as I was hoping so I do like a little bit of a thicker scarf but um I think this will be fine I think it will keep me warm and last but not least guys you know me you know I'm a, I'm a bag and your shoes type of gal so of course I had to finish the haul with a pair of shoes now I've never actually bought little like boot peep toe heels or anything but these look so cute and it's my birthday next month and I think I'm gonna go for dinner so these could actually be a shout these are stunning so these are size 7 and I got them for £45 so I quite like that they're not super super high because I've not worn proper heels in a long time so yeah I need to get myself back into it but these are stunning and I'm thinking these will definitely go with some of those outfits so yeah I'm excited <laughs> anyway that's everything for the haul so guys make sure to check out the video i will do a proper try on so that you guys can see everything see how it looks see what i think and yeah stay tuned but yeah i will catch you guys in the evening so guys you know that i'm obviously taking my healthy eating serious so it's now dinner time and this is my dinner oh the plate is hot <laughs> whoa this is my dinner for tonight so i'm having chicken with some lettuce and tomatoes and then i'm gonna put a bit of sauce on that because it's a little bit dry but yo guys i'm really trying to be a serious candidate so yeah hi guys so i finally finished filming for the day um so i finished the haul no i filmed the haul and then i also filmed the nip and fab um updated skincare routine so now comes the worst part of filming which is cleaning up this hot ass mess of a room before i can go to sleep because i'm one of those people who doesn't i don't really like to go to bed with like a messy room because i just feel like messy space is just messy head space and it's just it means i need to do it tomorrow and sunday is my chill day sunday is just the day to relax and chill and like prepare for work so i'd rather just clean up now get everything done and then i can get into bed well get my makeup off get into bed and all that good stuff but anyway that's it for saturday i'll catch you guys tomorrow 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 i sound very scottish i'll catch you guys tomorrow <laughs> but yeah
morning guys happy sunday um so i've literally just woken up don't mind the lovely i don't know whatever all that under my eyes i just woke up and the sun is out and i was like let me come and hang up my laundry asap because i don't know if anybody else is like me but i prefer to hang up laundry outside rather than hanging hanging it up inside or like drying it in the dryer i don't mind hanging it inside if i can open the windows if the weather is okay but i just prefer hanging it outside i just feel like it's fresher it's nicer yeah like i don't know am i the only one am i the only one who cares about this stuff do you guys just wrap it in the dryer and call it a day or is anybody else like me but anyway yeah, let me do this and then start my sunday Hi guys, happy Monday. So I've been working all day and then I've just come back from all day. So I'm back on my healthy eating business because you guys, summer is fast, fast, fast approaching and I've got way too many clothes that I need to fit back into. So I'm really trying. So yeah, I've just been to Aldi and I've shopped quite well today. Like most people say, don't shop when you're hungry and I'm a bit hungry, but I shopped pretty good, pretty responsibly. So I'm gonna show you guys what I bought. So first things first, I've got the peppered salami. If you guys watched my keto videos, you'll know that I already bought that in the past. And then I also bought the Milano salami and the chorizo slices. The reason I quite like these is because they're not that calorific. Like one slice is about, I want to say like 15 calories or something like that. I'll tell you guys later. But yeah, they're pretty not too calorific and you're getting your protein and like some fats as well and less carbs. And then, yeah, got the eggs, um, got some peppers as well. I'm going to be getting, put, getting, putting hands down in the kitchen, trying to find some good dishes. Got some yogurt, um, cucumber. Also got some blueberries. These are a bit pricey. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear my stomach rumbling, but your girl is hungry. Yeah, I got some blueberries and... Um, also got some tomatoes and then we got some bananas so I don't actually eat the bananas while they're green they don't look very green on camera but um, they are quite green so I usually buy them green so that they ripen at home because sometimes um, if you buy them when they're like yellow after like a day they've already started going black and then they're just too sweet and too mushy and um, also got some green apples and then another packet of blueberries. Oh, you can tell I'm rich. I got two packets of blueberries. <laughs> I kid, I kid. I'm very, very much broke. Also another banana. In the next bag, I bought more eggs. In this house, we do like our eggs. So they do go quite quickly. Um, so like I love eggs. Like sometimes I'll even eat like three at a time. So I just bought two of them and then guys i've been into this new phase of really liking soup recently so i've been having soup for my lunch for the last few well for the last week <laughs> and i've been loving the carrot and coriander soup from aldi and this whole can here is literally less than 200 calories so i'll eat the whole can which is 400 grams and 400 grams is about when I checked it on that My Fitness Pal, I think it's like 196 calories. So it's pretty good. And then you can afford to have like a slice of bread. And then that's you filled up like until dinner time. So I bought, I think, six or seven tubs of soup. And then, yep, more yogurt here. So I got the peach and passion fruit flavor. And I also got the raspberry flavor, of course. And then also, guys, you know, I'm always saving money. If you, not, if you like the garlic dip at Domino's, the garlic and herb dip get this one from aldi 
this literally tastes the exact same for a fraction of the price this is the big tub so at, at domino's you pay one pound like 25 i think this whole tub right here is 49p 49p and you guys i kid you not my brothers put me on like i bought it one day just thinking oh, we'll see we'll try it and then the boys tried it and they were like it tastes literally like dominoes and i was like you capping but you guys it legit tastes like dominoes dip so yeah get that one um yeah last bag i did get this pizza i don't know if anybody else has tried it before but i bought it one time and it was so good so i've bought it a couple of times more and my brothers really like it as well so yeah we usually just get that and share share that and then obviously we have to get some bread because we can't, we can't eat the soup on its own so i got the honey soaked seeded bloomer again this bread is so good like it tastes so fresh and the slices are humongous you guys like i would i would recommend this bread it's so so good and they have like the white tiger bloomer they have white malt bloomer they have um they have another one as well i can't remember what it is but the seeded one is the best so yeah anyway i hope you guys enjoyed my little food shop but yeah this is what we'll be eating for the next few days right so i am heading out for a walk now i've got my primark top um forever 21 leggings and then little socks from fabletics and they're so comfortable guys i would definitely recommend them but yeah the weather is so lovely so i am gonna go get some vitamin d get some steps in and yeah but that is it for this week thanks for tuning in guys and um, i'm just gonna wrap this vlog up here so have a nice weekend and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye